Hey everyone, how you doing? Today, I wanted to highlight and showcase a build I'm playing in season four, and that is the Sorceress Frozen Orb build. I had played this in a previous season, not to level 100, because I stopped playing the season, but in season four, I thought, what the hell? Everyone's playing Necromancer. Let me go back to playing Frozen Orb, and I have to say I'm not disappointed. This is actually live footage from my stream and my gameplay in season four with the Sorceress build. And I have to say, I'm having a blast. I'm currently in the mid 70s, as you can see, 76 at the time of this video. And I'm having a blast. I wanted to showcase this build for those of you that are looking for something other than the Necromancer, which seems to be, well, it is the OP build of season four but for those of you that are looking for something different kind of going against the grain this build is unbelievable i'm having so much fun i gotta tell you i'm ha i'm having no problems clearing all the content now this is an s tier material build however like i said i'm really not having any difficulty defeating the content now uh, just to give you an update on where I am with the build, obviously, like you said here, I'm actually uh, in the 80s now, but I'm just showing you footage of Helltides here. I've entered the pit currently. I'm at level, uh, sorry, tier 17. And uh, I, like I said, I'm really having no difficulty. Now, yes, um, I'm having the occasional deaths on in the pit, um, but that's just because I'm trying to push the pit a lot earlier. Remember, the pit is recommended level 100, and I'm already in there. And to be honest with you, I started the pit grind at level 78. And again, I had no problems with the occasional death here and there. And I also want to state that my build has not been min and maxed. I'm still missing many pieces that I need for the build. And also uh, all my aspects and stuff are not 100% aligned. But I have to say this build has been such a treat and fun. As you guys already know, the Sorceress is very mobile. And with Ice Armor and Flame Shield, you basically get the defenses that give you, like basically make you immortal. All right, so let's take a look at the build and shout out to North War, North War on maxroll.gg. Uh, this is basically the template for the Frozen Orb build, and it's not an S tier build according to uh, Maxroll. It's uh, the level below. It's A tier when it comes to end game and the pit and stuff like that. Here is what they classify this build as. So uh, as far as learning the build and playing the build, it's very easy. It's not a difficult build to uh, play. The play style is not difficult. Uh, speed farming, it's very strong. Sorcerers are known for being very fast levelers. So it's a very good rating when it comes to speed farming. And it gets average an average rating for the pit and for bossing although i have to say i have not experienced that i think to be honest with you i think the the pit and bossing would i would bump that up to a strong uh a four out of five but however uh they average they put it as average and defense is very strong like i said and we'll get into it ice armor and flame shield both defense mechanisms that are uh, in your arsenal provides you with basically being immortal. What are the uh, skill trees and gameplay? So basically frozen orb is your primary damage source and it's a beauty and there's ways for you to further enhance this. And um, then teleport makes you unstoppable as it's your main source of mobility and teleport is, it's amazing, I love it. It makes you so agile, and uh, along with dash, uh, with your froze with your sorcerers, just makes you really mobile. 
uh ice armor like i said um and flame shield are your are your two primary defensive uh skills which make you literally immortal and then um there's ice blades and lightning spear and they uh recommend these two skills because of this unique amulet which you get only from dropping from the lord of zir the fractured winter glass because these skills tie in sorry with uh the fractured winter glass um and then unstoppable current is your ultimate choice we use it because it provides attack speed and firebolt uh you have to put two points into firebolt because it unlocks the rest of the skill tree um, as far as enchantment slots, there's Frozen Orb and Firebolt. Yeah. Now, resource management. As we know, Sorceress, period, have a mana issue. So managing your mana resources is very... Um, <laughs> it's definitely a chore. Uh, so you really need to pay attention to this. Um, and Frozen Orb is very mana uh, intensive, mana hungry. So you want to get the Prodigy's aspect in there. So using a cooldown restores X amount of mana. Uh, this is very useful. And then early game, you can use Aspect of the Umbrella. And that is, it becomes less relevant later on in the game. But early game, you can definitely use this. And this restores your primary resources when you're crowd control an enemy now how do you battle mana regeneration the best way to solve this is try to combine these mana regeneration uh bonuses and that is flat mana per second now these are affixes that you need to pay attention to when loot is dropping mana per second percentage mana per second resource regener uh, generation and then resource cost reduction this will help um getting your mana regeneration and you know i have to say early game you are going to run out of mana all the time so it's very very important that you pay attention to this and add this to your build as quickly and as often as possible because it just the more frozen orbs that you can throw <laughs> the better off you are um and there's a, a conjuration mastery uh in late game that stacks from uh the fractured fractured winter glass that's why it's so important that you farm Lord Zero when you can and you get this fractured winter class amulet. This is specific to this build. You need it. You must have it. It's a game changer for the build. So get to Lord Zir as quickly as possible. Now on my run, I did it with my clan. Um just because other people needed it. So we grouped up um and we did it in a group of four. And I think it took me like five, six runs uh, of beating Zier, Lord Zier to finally get it to drop. And as you can see here, it's got 13, well, mine is mine hit the max cooldown reduction. Mine hit the max on, um, oh, here we go. So non-physical damage, and there it is right there, Conjuration Mastery uh, and it's got vulnerable damage and casting frozen orb has a 50% chance to spawn a random conjuration when it explodes. It's a unbelievable, unbelievable uh, uh, amulet that you need for this build. Now I did something different. I didn't, I'm not using lightning spear. I'm not using the unstable currents. Now that may be a little counterproductive when you look at the synergies with the fractured winter glass and the conjuration uh, buff that it comes with that amulet. I just found early game, I wanted to speed up the leveling. So I incorporated hydras into my build 
and I've never moved away from it. Now, if I want to 100% follow the recommendation of Maxwell GG through North Wars Frozen or Build, I may make the changes and completely do 100% that is in the Maxwell GG guide for the Frozen Orb. But right now, I'm finding the Hydras are really helping in crowd control, damage, and really allowing me the time to get Frozen Orb up if I'm spamming it and my mana is going down quicker. Now, I'm also... I, Another tip I would say is try not to spam everything and that'll help greatly with the mana, uh, you know, your mana upkeep. Uh, it won't drain it. And to be honest with you, if you have all your aspects and um, affixes properly assigned, you really don't need them because they just... The skills do the work for you. As you can see in my gameplay behind me, really have no issues. If you're looking for something different, give it a try. Let me know what you think. But uh, I'm not. I'm having a blast, and I'll be honest with you. I'm some of the bosses. Like I, I'm currently uh, at pit level 17. Like I said earlier, I entered the pit at level 78 and completed it easy peasy. And we've been making our way up the pit slowly. Um, so I'm really not having any difficulty now. Yeah, I have the occasional deaths on the on the on my pit runs. However, I'm completing them in time and uh, really having no issues. I am pushing the envelope a little bit, getting in there a lot earlier. Like I said, I entered there at 78. So anyway, give this build a try. I promise you, you're gonna have a lot of fun. It's a fun, fun build. That's all I can say. Give it a try, see what you think. Let me know if you do try it. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to make this video because I'm having a blast and I wanted to display the build that I'm playing in season four. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. And if you can like, comment and subscribe, it would mean the world to me and help out my channel immensely. And as always, we'll hope to see you in Sanctuary. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.